Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Spelunky. So in the last episode, we made some progress with our challenge run. So today we will be continuing the No Damsel run, and I'm not really just picking any character in particular, I'm just kind of flicking the control stick until I find some kind of character to use. I seem to have inadvertently picked the robot, which was fine. He's got the Duracell battery locked into his back, and he's ready to go. Oh, lovely. More, uh, more skulls. These must be in tribute of the lives that were lost in the previous run. So today we will be continuing... Oh, Snake and Snake. Lovely. We will be continuing the no damsel run. So hopefully we will have slightly more success than the previous two. I'm realizing that we were on part three of trying to pull this off and haven't quite had the success I've been hoping for. Haven't even gotten to the temple yet, but uh, you know, I digress. This is Spelunky after all. There are numerous ways to die. There are numerous ways to Get screwed over and regret everything. I don't see anything that's going to get me killed. Oh, well, the fall damage might get me killed. Can't see that. Well, we're off to a fantastic start. But just to go over a couple of things uh, while we're on the early levels of the mines, the No Damsel Run, as the name implies. You cannot use damsels. Yeah, damsels. You cannot use damsels. Um, the only thing really worthwhile is the climbing gloves, since that is going to help with our mobility. I don't see anything else really worthwhile here. So, no damsel run. As the name implies, you cannot use damsels. You cannot use them for health. You cannot sacrifice them. You cannot whip them for blood, and you cannot use them as a projectile. Basically, if you see a damsel, you have to let them be. So, it means that we need to be a little bit more uh, health conscious than normal. Not that you would never not be health conscious on a, uh, in Spelunky, but... Particularly more so in this, since not being able to sacrifice a damsel really hurts your chances at getting the Kapala unless you get lucky and are able to find either a floor with a large number of bodies to sacrifice, and hopefully the skeleton's not going to come to life, it didn't, which is good. Or you need to get lucky and find some hired help on the same floor that a shrine resides. In this particular case, it's not that is not the case here, so uh, this is a wasted shrine, unfortunately. Maybe this crate will make up for things, it's a parachute. Great. Got my hopes up, and just for a moment, I believed, I believed that there was a Spunky God, and that there would be things, there would be words coming to my mouth that would be inspiring, but apparently not. And something died without me doing anything. Oh, well, there's another uh, shrine that we can't quite use. I will pop up here really quick to check to see what's inside this crate. Come on, bombs. Alright. I like to believe that the... Skull? Skull? I kind of like to believe that the, uh, whatever's inside the crate isn't decided, is not decided until the very last second you open up the crate. Sort of like, uh... What's the word? What's the experiment that I'm thinking... What's the experiment I'm thinking of? Um, Schwander's Cat. So until you've opened up the crate, all items imaginable exist within that crate. From the bombs to robes, all the way up to the plasma cannon. And until you've opened up that bomb, until you've opened up that crate, all those items are currently exiting inside the crate simultaneously, in all possible states. Of course, that doesn't matter in Splunky. So I'm going to buy this bomb box. I'm really tempted to kill this shopkeeper, but, uh... 
you know, anything that can be done to minimize our risk. Mm, this? No. This. And this scorpion can't do anything, so... Knock him out of the way and just jump on Now I am wondering where the key is. Oh. We are very lucky, because uh, if this thing decides to spit on either of those TNT crates, I'm pretty sure the shop here is going to be pissed. So, bomb here. And I'm really hoping that things don't explode in ways that are not to our favor. Um, seriously, where's this key? Uh, this thing's gonna cause problems for me, isn't it? There we go. Okay, there's our- oh! There we go. I'll leave the dog, that's the rule. Alright, we got our key, we can leave. I'm so surprised how lucky we are with this uh, whole snake TNT crate business thing. <coughs> I was gonna say, so far, not off to a terrible start, but uh, then this happened. There's uh, nothing like having a dark level. And I would love to grab this hired help, but. Um, I kinda need my hands for. Oh, there's a. Uh, Ultra right here, never mind. I wonder how much the um, hired help is. So we're gonna throw up a rope and check really quick. How much is the uh, man worth? 8,000. Okay. We need money. And we are going to need to. But I am gonna use a bomb if I can get up here. Three of these. That should give us enough money, I think. Yeah, just enough. So this is going to be our first little bit of help towards getting our Kapala. At the very least, we will get a uh, item. So come on, cape, compass. Okay, that's not terrible. Let's see, now where's my, uh, where's my mushy -mush? Let's check the pot really quick. Regret it! Regret it! Regret it! Very scared that spider was going to hit me. Um, I do want this, uh, bug over here. I don't think it's gonna happen. So we will get a little bit of extra money from the torch. Make sure money from the scarab. Now, I was hoping one of those pots would have actually hit the scorpion, but uh, didn't quite go as planned, but not the worst thing. And this. Alright, I think we've pushed our, luff, our luck enough. I'm very tempted to go explore the rest of the uh, level, but... If my experience with this game has taught me anything, things go sour really quick. Hmm. Oh, lovely. Do I need to? I did hear the pinging. Um, okay, this is going to be worth a bomb just to deal with this. Oh, lovely. It's uh, above the shop, isn't it? What's down there, by the way? Hard help. Is it here? 
It's over here. Oh, this was uh, unavoidable, I guess. At the very least, we will try and grab the uh, shopkeeper's rifle before we enter the black market, because looking at our gold right now, we're not going to be able to buy things at all. So, oops. Not what I meant to do. I would like to know where the shopkeeper went, because I really do need that rifle. So I'm going to blow that up so I can climb back up afterwards. I'm really low on ropes, which is not something I like to be low on. Okay. Um, I would really like it if this shopkeeper could get hit by a tiki trap. Tiki? You gonna work with me here? No? Okay. Wait. I see blood. Come on. Work with me. There we go. Clear that out of the way. I think that's anything, everything that's going to be uh, worthwhile on this level. I don't think there's going to be any ultras floating around. And that is our cue to leave. And we'll expend one rope to get back up here. So, black market. This may mark the end of our run. That was a lucky shot. Oh, there's so many. So many shopkeepers. Okay. I am very concerned that a shopkeeper is around the corner. I feel bad for the higher type in the uh, in Monty there. We've had a lot of higher. Oh, I didn't mean to actually do that. Not complaining, but uh, tempting the fates here a little bit too much. Better grab that honk. Wow, I'm really tempting the fates here. I'm just walking into the uh, shops, not even bothering to look. Ooh, jetpack. Shoot. Now, is there anything that's going to get me killed on the bottom? This I would like to know. Yes, there are numerous shopkeepers that are very angry. So, let's see if we can find a uh, slightly better route. Also, noticing I have like no bombs here either. That's uh, very disappointing. Running, 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 running. I saw they were both knocked out, I took the chance. I regret nothing. Oh god! Okay, so anyone that's watched these, this series so far knows my history with boomerang men. All boomerang must all boomerang men must die. So so far we actually are kind of looking at a decent run so far, to a point. I mean, we do have the jetpack, we have the Ankh, which is going to allow us to get to Hell. The only problem is, are we going to be able to survive Hell? Uh, like this. Because normally with these uh, no damsel runs, I've never actually set a uh, particularly clear final goal entirely because I've never actually gotten far enough for me to really need to consider it. But uh, ideally I would go for a hell run. At 
the same time, however, I would also like to uh, actually have a completed run. Just in general, Omic or otherwise. Oh, this is fantastic. Well, on the plus side, we do have the compass. This will make things slightly easier. Because I can just go straight for the exit without having to really bother with anything. But this is going to be a giant escort mission between both the gun and the light. On the plus side, I do see a... Oh, really? I do see a shop. Please let there be bombs. There are bombs. Albeit not very many, but uh, whatever we can get. I am going to have to use one here to deal with this. And for a minute there, I was really hoping there weren't be there wasn't going to be any uh, bats or anything. Okay, we do see the shopkeeper. Gotta be really careful about this. I really need more light. It's the problem. Alright, that's an extra how many bombs? Six? Like, I'm nowhere near where I really hope to be in terms of items around this point in the game. At the same time, we have the jetpack. That's, uh. It's always a major plus to have. Oh! Come on! I see you jumping over there. Get hit by my bullets. Got a magic bullet here, and it's just for you. Leaving, 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 leaving! Ooh. Close one? Just a little bit. We've really been tangling with the uh, devil in the pale moonlight today. On the plus side, we are now on the ice caves with the jetpack, so this should make the next little bit of our run a little bit easier. But then again, the ice caves are where I died the last time, so... You know, let's not count our chickens before they hatch. Gross. I'm really hurting for bombs here. Well, I guess I could use mines. Yeah. off. Um, yeah, whatever I can, whatever I can get rid of in the field would be nice. Um, I'm gonna throw a rock at this thing. Just You know, there are a lot of bodies on this floor. And I could have swore I saw a uh, altar earlier. So we actually might be able to make a Kapala happen here. Thankfully, you do have spike shoes. Okay, I go to man. He will fall into the abyss where he belongs. we gotta deal with in terms of things that are gonna get me killed, and I do see one such item. Alright. Anything else that I need to be concerned with? 
you. I need to be concerned with you. This day rain blood for all alien kind. Okay, put that there. Alright, time to farm bodies. Thankfully, there are a lot of them picking around, so... Oh, there's a ghost. That's fantastic. That's exactly what I want to see. How you doing, ghost? How you been? It's been a long time since I last saw you. How are the kids? You see there at the space camp? That's nice. I'm assuming you're referring to the space under the closet. Wait, not the closet. I meant to see the stairway. Both work, I suppose. Wait, come on. I think this is enough. There we go. Okay, we really lucked out on the uh, whole Kapala thing. Let's not jump into the thing that will throw us into the ghost. You can tell I've had that experience, because it's one of those things where it happens to you and then... It is burning into your soul, and you remember forever. Like how I died in the last episode. Or the Boomerang Men. Every single death is just another page in your Splunky history. And there is the Moji head on this floor, so we are clear to die here. So these are always the, uh, funnest levels. You get to throw all caution to the wind and just kind of mess around with stuff. It doesn't matter if you die on this floor, because you're going to get resurrected anyways. Mm-hmm. 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 Just blowing up the mine just because... Alright, well, I can't take the rifle with me, so might as well bring this over. And there is an ultra on this floor, which means that we can also sacrifice ourselves and get some extra flavor with Kali. And I'm just looking around to make sure there's nothing else that's worth grabbing. And I don't see anything of the sort. So I will take one of these, because that will help us out a little bit. And in order to make this happen, I do need to blow this up, so I need to find a mine somewhere. I could use one of my own bombs, but we need to conserve our own resources as much as possible. Should do it. So here's how this works. We just go up as high as we can, we let ourselves drop, and land on the Ultra. And use our parachutes. That's exactly what we do. And then the Ankh will bring us back to life, we've gained some extra favor with Kali. And... Yeah, that was neat. I saw my jetpack over there and it just flipped back, back, back onto my backside. That was neat. Now if you didn't have a jetpack, you would use uh, ropes or something to that effect to make this happen. <laughs> I was a fool, I tried to pick up the uh, mine as to use an explosive for other things, but... I sort of missed the mark just ever so slightly, and then I saw my whole life flashing behind before my eyes. So let's not do that. Now the shopkeeper should be there somewhere. And let's not set up the mine this time. And throw that down there. See, I seem to have missed the mark. Maybe a freeze ray will help me out? Nope. Maybe this guy will give me a freeze ray. Yeah. Okay, now we actually are pretty much clear to aggro this man without any problems. Now that we have a weapon, we uh, are clear to leave the ice caves.
No, oh, ideally I would like to have the rifle instead, but... Free space is pretty fun. I've seen it used on various things. That's gonna be a disaster. Better do something about that. Yeah. Uh, really need to get rid of anything that's gonna get us killed. I really should just be heading straight for the exit and not even bothering to dilly daddle at all. And I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's not take any unnecessary risks for in the middle of a pretty decent run. Um, I will sacrifice his body, though. I don't know quite how much it is that you need in order to get some extra health from Kali. I believe it's two damsels worth, so... You know, this actually probably is one of the safer ways to deal with the UFOs. So at least they fall in a straight... Half. Okay. There goes the shopkeeper, and he is dealt with. And let's see what how many more bodies we can pick up. Nope, oh, there's the uh, jumpy thing. I was expecting there, for there to be at least one here somewhere buried in the snow, but you can't see it. Oh, so, oh yeah, I keep forgetting to have the Kapala. I'm not used to having the Kapala on these no damsel runs. That's the one thing I always have problems getting. Just careful, be cool. Oh, okay, there it is. There's our extra health for... Sacrificing, and that's pretty much the maximum I think you can get. At least from Kali, anyways. So we are clear to leave. Now, I do believe that the freeze rate does work on Anubis. There he is, right on cue. And let's deal with the Skella. Skella creatures. Now, we really do need to free this man from his prison, so... That's fair, let's just bomb him. I realize I could have, uh, freeze rate him, but... Those purple orbs, man. Those purple orbs. Okay, so, don't need this anymore. Now, our main concern right now is just to get to the exit and nothing more. Bumps. I don't want to deal with bombs. Apparently, I'm going to be dealing with them regardless. Alright, I'm going to deal with this first. Might as well get some extra blood. Why not? There's got to be a safer path down there. This. Alright, now he's like, now that he's over there, he's a lot less of a threat, kind of. And there we go. Let's just blow him up. I don't want to deal with this. Do I have anything I can throw down? Not really. Is there anything down there that's going to screw up my staff? up here like you maybe use instead? No, there isn't. Okay, let's use a rope then. I'm also just realizing that I have... Bombs scare me. Bombs scare me a lot. I'm also realizing how many ropes I have. I have not needed to use any of them so far. Oh look, an altar! I don't like do anything with it now though. At least as far as I know. Okay. Here's a... This. Even... You 
I'm trying to feel my, uh, my spunky food coming back to me. The... First couple times, I tried pulling off the no rope run. Uh, this. I had some pretty, uh, pretty sour runs to start off with. I do feel like, uh... It's starting to come back to me a little bit. Bit by bit. I'm starting to get the feel back into my fingers about what to do in each, in each individual situation. What not to do in every single situation. I wish we had a little bit more bombs, so I could focus a little bit more on score, but at the same time... No downs around, let's focus on the, uh, the challenge at hand, rather than thinking around with... ...other things I could be doing. Oh. I was really hoping that would, uh, take care of that. Come on. Sorry, Monty. Wow, so many arrow traps. I'm not allowed to use the carcass, so we'll use a pod instead. And didn't quite make it down there, okay. Yep. Now we should try to deal with the shopkeeper before we deal with Nubis too. So let's just aggro him. You need to get down in here and uh, beat this mummy to death. Wait, is that even a thing that's doable? Mummy's already dead. Oh well. Yep. Extra blood for the Kapala. And I will use bomb just to open up the space a little bit more. Are at a bit of a premium for bombs right now. Oh, so much lag on the screen. Criminy. I think I might have just broken the object limit on my computer here. Like, what was that? That was like 15, pre 15 frames a second. Ah, eh, he's still alive. That's great. Leaving. Quite glad the shopkeeper decided to go run to the left. Not the left. I'm quite glad that the shopkeeper decided to run to the right for no apparent reason. Makes my life a lot easier. Alright, I'm gonna fight. Now, I know there actually is a way to kill Omic without having to use bombs, but the last time I tried that, I kind of made a mistake and uh, didn't quite pull it off right. On top of that, we do need to deal with the Book of the Dead's munching as well. So, I guess we're going to be going for the slightly more conventional. Using lots of bombs to make a giant hole and pushing Omic into said hole strategy. But uh, let's see what we have to work with. Because we are fairly low on bombs right now. We should have enough to pull off the Omic fight without any problems. But we do need a fair number for hell. It's going to require at least a couple to deal with Vlad. It's going to be worth a bomb to open this up. Gross. Darn. That gamble did not quite pay off the way I was hoping for. Let's see... And there's just so many hazards in hell that I can get us killed. Alright. I think that's pretty much as much as we're gonna get up here. So where's the... oh. 
That's a fairly convenient location, sort of. This is also pretty rare, because normally there's like a pathway to just climb up from the side. It's very rare I see a uh, old chunk of rock blocking the top of the top of the dungeon here. So we are going to lower Oma to one side while we go do our business. It should be here. So it's a little bit sloppier than I would normally like, but uh, we have the rope. We do have the bombs to kind of make this happen. So let's just give her a shot. Come on, Omic. There we go. And here comes the frantic pressing the uh, door button as Omic falls into the depths. For me, it's the B button. For other players, it's, I think it's the right trigger. Don't ask me why I have mine set to the B button, it's just more comfortable for me. For some reason, I'm not very comfortable with using the uh, trigger buttons. Okay, we got to deal with this, so... We need some bombs to open this up. Thankfully, we will be able to just use a bomb just to open... to free the amulets. Maybe we can make this work. Just like that. That may have been the easiest lad fight I've had in a good while. Alright, amulet. Get. And I am curious to see what's inside this crate. And I will take a gamble and hope it's a bomb bag. Bomb bag, yes! Vampire. Now, how is this for a way out? Not the best, but uh, I think we can make this happen. I mean, the uh, spike ball isn't exactly ideal, but I think we can make this happen. So, on there. I am being very concerned about my, uh... Leaving? About my bomb supply right now. We have two more levels of hell to make it through. We should be able to make it okay to... King Yama. We do have the amulet now, so we are immune to fire. I don't any of that. Tip of these spike balls do have me uh, quite scared. Leaving. Give that. Give that. Now, where's that shopkeeper? Oh, already dead. I am totally fine with this. So, as long as we time this right, this is a pretty easy uh, exit. I honestly was not expecting it to make it this far today. I wonder what and I wonder why that is. I mean it's not like I haven't had the jetpack in my no damsel run before. And it you know does help considerably. But uh Maybe it's just knowing that you have the Kapala. It's just that extra little ease of mind that allows you to play a little bit more 
calmly, a little bit more smoothly than you would otherwise. Mm, where is the exit? Okay. So close is clear. Now, as long as I leave that shopkeeper B, he should be able to kill himself. I'm very concerned about this vampire screwing me over somehow. So, looking good so far. I mean, we are sitting at the 40-minute uh, mark, but uh, King Yama on the No Damsel Run. This is the first I've managed to get here, and this is my second time in... Uh... I don't know why, I kind of forgot which button was my bomb button. That was really weird, it's like, I started pressing the, uh, the X button, which is ignoring my action button, to go use a bomb, and I tried using my right trigger to use a bomb. I started kind of panicking a little bit inside. Because that would suck to make it the entire way here, and then to die to misclicking. So we do have a rifle, let's, uh, let's... Take care of anything that's going to get us killed. In case of point spikes. We don't have the catcher's mitts, so... You need to be a little bit wary of my arc. Can I even just shoot him from here? Mm. Should be able to just assume from here. Think so? No. Not quite enough. Uh, let's try the other side then. This will uh, this will also let us uh, just clear out whatever's floating around. Vampire here. Is there anything up here? Oh, that's weird. Normally there is a uh, like a ball and chain or something. Like this is just easy. I can just shoot him from here now. This is a very generous uh, hell seed. And over there. Now all the fantastic generals are ours to claim. Tiki traps to deal with, just all this beautiful, beautiful money. That's it! No downs or run complete! Hell run and all! And with the extra money that we get from killing Yama, that should put us at just, uh, just slightly under 500k. About, you know, 47, 470. So, in all, it was a pretty fun run. The no damsel run is uh, frighteningly challenging. 
since you have to be really conscious about your health. Even though I say that I have like 15 with the robot character right now, but... Those early points of the game just are so critical. And then you tend to start off your run thinking, Oh, I'm just going to be completely focused. I'm not going to make any stupid mistakes. Five minutes pass and that whole concept gets thrown out the window. You'll be remembered as a hero who didn't save a single damsel. You go, Robo Man! Cue the fireworks. But we've already watched this, so we can just go ahead and go straight back to the main menu. Cue the clear sets. Yeah! So that's it! The No Damsel Run has been completed for my challenge run. So I don't know what I'm going to do uh, after this. There is a uh, No Gold achievement that you can get on Steam. There is the No Rope Run that was suggested to me by the Fantasy File, which I did try a couple times before this. None of them ended particularly well. And with good reason, since ropes are actually pretty darn important. So if you have any idea for a challenge run, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. And also I would like to know, what did you think of the No Damsel run? Think it's too easy? Do you think it's too hard? Do you think the use of the Kapala should be forbidden along with the use of the Damsels? Let me know in the comments below. So until next time, thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.